Do you believe in flying houses? Me neither. Unless in the middle of typhoon or tornado. I'm just kidding. Today we visited a place where angels apparently had very powerful wings. They lifted a house made of bricks for 2,000 miles. But did that actually happen? Come, join us as we visit a town in Italy famous for a house that's 2,000 years old but was transported 2,000 miles away from its original place. Is this how grand this house is? And why is this place important to Christians all over the world? Let's find out. Our pilgrimage destination for today is Loreto, a small town north of Rome and south of Rimini and Ancona, in the province of the same name, Ancona. The Loreto train station is almost a mile away from the sanctuary. The sanctuary is on top of a hill. Legend says that the angels were probably th thinking that it's easier to place a 2,000-year-old house on an elevated platform. Since we're backpackers, we have a load to carry up on a hill. We were hoping that there was a left luggage in the Loreto train station, but there was none. Luckily, the bartender in the bar in the train station was kind enough to let us leave our backpacks. So we climbed what seemed to be a thousand steps to the Santuario de la Santa Casa de Loreto. After climbing a beautiful but some climb hill, we got to the sanctuary complex that looks like more of a medieval fortress than a holy site. After mystically entering a small church, we found our way to the actual sanctuary church. When we entered the church, there was a big pilgrim group who were doing some prayer chants in Italian. So, what is the Holy House of Loreto? Technically, the faithful believe that this house is the home of the Virgin Mary and perhaps this is the very house where Jesus was brought up. It is now in Loreto, Italy. It was originally in Nazareth in the location of the present-day Basilica of the Annunciation in Nazareth. For the longest of time, local people believed that angels transported the stone house from Nazareth to Croatia and then to Loreto on December 10, 1294. But according to archaeology and the extensive scientific studies done, the holy house was transported by human intervention. Recent Vatican documents, secular documents in Naples and other documents from other scholars revealed a similar information that the 13th century Angelo family or Angelo family together with crusaders in the Holy Land were responsible for transporting the Holy House brick by brick from Nazareth and rebuilt it in Loreto in the middle of a public road. At that time the Holy Land was about to be overrun by the Muslims and the Christians believe that this tiny house is their target of rage. Archaeologists confirmed that the house has no foundation, just three walls which is three meters high. This coincides with the location where it comes from, where in the fourth wall, when it was still in Nazareth, was a grotto cut, cut out from a rock. Graffitis found on the walls have been found to be of early Jewish Christian origin, found only in the Holy Land. The statue of the, Holy, of the Virgin Mary with a child is made of cedar from Lebanon, was just added recently. Today, a beautiful ornate house houses the original abode of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph inside. Whether you believe it or not, this divine house holds a very special connection with our Mama Mary's home in Nazareth. It reminds us that this house might be the very place where the angel Gabriel announced our salvation. This is probably where the Virgin Mary said yes to the Lord. As we prayed inside this very humble but holy house, it gives us a glimpse of where Jesus lived. This very worn out and weathered stone walls were witnesses to the Son of God's human side. 